The Battle Droid Army has recently overtaken the Republic Administration Building on Coruscant. Inside, Yoda was taken by surprise by 1,000 battle droids. They are now doing hostage negotiations with the Clone Trooper Grand Army of the Republic. But the Republic is impatient. So they've sent in the Clone Trooper Commandos. Down in the middle, we have Commando Gregor, along with some shiny Clone Trooper Commandos. To their left, we have, of course, Bad Batch Squad. To their right, we've got the Delta Squad. Every Clone Trooper Commando from the Clone Wars in Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2 is on the battlefield right now. Each of them has 2,000 health, and they are fighting against 1,000 battle droids. The battle droids have a lot of troopers on free roam mode, as well as a lot of troopers in defense mode. Now, the droids individually each have 100 health compared to the 2,000 health each Clone Commando has, so... They can kill a lot of droids for every clone commando on the battlefield. We'll see if they're able to defeat these droids or if they will end up dying. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below who you think is going to win this battle. There's a lot of droids that these clones gotta go through and a lot of rooms to overcome, but if anyone can do it, it's the clone commandos. Either way guys, let's get right on into this video. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you wanna play the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. Alrighty then, gamers, let's go ahead and press start. And as promised from the last video, we do have, of course, a huge fortress invasion versus 1,000 defenders. Seemed like a few of you guys really liked that video idea I proposed in the Hoth video, so we're making it happen. And we do have a clone commando with the grenade launcher attachment firing away. We've also got some of them with the DC-17M sniper attachment, and many of them are just using the standard DC-17. Uh, some might be using the pistol. Yeah, a few of them have the pistols drawn already. They have four weapons per clone commando to go ahead and utilize, so they've got a lot they can draw from. Gregor ends up going down right there, but I think he's just unconscious due to a grenade impacting him, and it is all-out warfare here on the platforms that the droids are immediately defending. Going in slow-mo just to check out what's going on, we've got probably 50 droids if not more dead on the battlefield already which is pretty insane bad batch is not getting involved in the battle at all right now so eh, we could definitely use them front and center that'd be good and delta squad over here is firing in from the side uh we've got scorch fixer and uh sev right there firing boss seems to just sort of be behind those bunkers right now so he's not doing all that much gregor and his shinies are doing the bulk of the fighting right now and this grenade launcher trooper keeps on impacting his own soldiers and knocking them out while he is both a gift and a curse i think right now he is still leaning towards more of a gift so eh, for now i would keep him on the battlefield but if he keeps on knocking these guys out he might be a detriment to the clone commandos overall uh, and result in their deaths uh, you never know Gregor right now has half his health still alive, so uh, yeah, he has lost quite a bit of health. Actually, the hero clone commandos have a little bit more health, so Gregor's got 10,000. I think each of the Bad Batch troopers has 5,000, and then the Delta Squad troopers have 5,000, but the standard shinies have 2,000 apiece. So that's just sort of how the game divvies up the health bars uh, in terms of clone trooper commandos right now. And I did buff the shiny commandos, because normally they're just like a normal unit uh, health-wise. Droid Grenade coming in here forcing these guys out of the way so they're still taking shots as they try and run Gregor goes down is he dead no he is not dead as of yet he could very well die fairly soon here why don't we go into normal speed it looks really bad for the middle platform here is this battle going to be over before it even begins essentially we need Delta squad getting more involved we need the bad batch getting more involved Gregor cannot do this alone he is down again he is actually dead now that is not good. Three clone commandos down mid are dead. The other three are still alive. Uh, this is tragic. 
Oh my god, we're not having the help that we need over here. More clone command. They're all dead down mid now. All of the clone commandos down mid are now dead. The Bad Batch over here is finally getting involved on the battlefield. Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, Crosshair all getting involved and taking a lot of shots at the same time. Delta Squad over here also getting somewhat involved right now, but not to the degree that we need. Grenade inbound. Fixer takes the brunt of it. The other three manage to hop away from that. Ooh, we might have to rethink things here because this is not going the way of the clone commando. This is going quite horribly right now. Bad Batch over here still in the midst of fighting. They've killed a number of droids themselves right now, which is good to see. Crosshair is kind of like in the platform right now. I don't know if that's actually giving him any cover or not. It might just be a little bit glitchy of a positioning for him right there. And uh, Tech, of course, with the DC-17 pistol, probably the most useless weapon he could have right now. But Hunter's getting a few kills with those DC-15Cs. Uh, over here, Delta Squad is getting exploded left and right by grenades. Um, and it looks like only Boss and Scorch are still alive. Boss goes down, Scorch is the only living one, and he gets killed as well. They've taken out a number of battle droids while fighting there, but they end up going down. Now it's just the Bad Batch over here surviving till the bitter end. Of course we're going to rerun this thing because we can't have it go this way. It's too tragic. Uh, I think we might need some more clone commandos on the battlefield. They were not able to do this at all. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and time lapse their last stand here and then we'll check out the losses. And then we'll add some more clone commandos because clearly more are needed. Okay, weirdly enough, Delta Squad here has managed to hold out... Oh, sorry, Bad Batch, not Delta Squad. Delta Squad, super dead. They've managed to hold out pretty decently. Actually, big droid rush right when I started to record this again. Tech is dead. The others are still alive, though, and they're still kind of cooking. Hunter still got a lot of health right now, uh, and uh, Wrecker's about to die, and Crosshair's about to die. But, I mean, yeah, Wrecker just died. Crosshair gets flown. Is he dead? No, he's still alive, technically. Um, but Hunter's still alive right there. Kind of insane that they managed to survive for so long here. Despite... Oh, I think Wrecker did that. No, no, no. Uh, sorry. He's about to. He's for sure going to. Wait, did he just die or did Hunter just die? No, Wrecker got... Or Hunter got thrown. Wrecker just died. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. We're going to have a lot of grenades going off here. Yep. Yes, sirree. Hunter is getting his salads tossed. They think he's dead. He's still alive. He's at like one quarter health. They killed a lot of droids in the process, which is pretty impressive. But, I mean, overall, they just are not doing too hot. <laughs> I can't believe it. The, the, I think they survived for so long because the droids were kind of far away, um, which is crazy. But, yeah. Uh, I also realize Hunter does have more health than everyone else, too. Um, he did just die. I, I thought the Bad Batch would have the same as all the other hero units, but I think the Bad Batch does have slightly higher health, but they did end up dying, and also they had the droids fire farther away, um, which helped them. So, probably like 400 droids dead on the battlefield, but there's still a lot alive if you look at the minimap here. Um, so, why don't we add some more clone commandos here? Okay, so we've added more clone commandos to uh, Delta Squad and the Bad Batch. Uh, sadly, Gregor still has to live with what he's got. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but the others get an improvement in their numbers there. And we will see if this makes an overall improvement on the battlefield and if the clones will even make it inside this time around. Because last time, they died out on these fields here, which was definitely a little bit tragic. They did not do the best. They did not do the best at all. Bumping it up a speed here. Grenade launchers firing out. Looks great. I'm just hoping that the Bad Batch and Delta Squad actually moves a little bit here, or attracts some droids. Yes, I like that they're firing a little bit, might attract some more of their droids their way, which is exactly what we need. We don't need these guys hanging out in the back lines doing absolutely nothing the whole time. We need them either A, attracting more droids so Gregor doesn't get overwhelmed, or B, just moving to Gregor's position, or better yet, wrapping around the sides here and firing at an angle. Uh, at the oncoming droids. That's what we need here. The hordes of droids are starting to move forward, at least the uh, free rain roam, right, yeah, bleh, bleh, <laughs> messed up my words, free roamers, oh, 
those, those grenade launchers are so sick! They're so baller! They're really OP too! But they are going up against a thousand droids, so it does make sense that they have them right now. I mean, look at all these droids coming in. Look at all these droids coming in right now. It is absolutely insane. If these weren't commando clones coming forward, we would need probably like... 400 clones just to defeat this front position here, maybe? Maybe more? Uh, and that's not even including, like, the back positions that we haven't even gotten involved in yet. So, yeah, it takes quite a bit. Gregor seems to be doing okay down mid here. That was a huge grenade right there. Holy smokes. Wowza. These guys have 2,000 health, right? They have 9,100 health. Hold up. Wait, hold. I'm, I'm sorry. But I need to check. I set actor state to have 2,000 health. Why does everyone have more health than that? I don't know. Okay. I'm not that good at programming this game. So clearly, all the clone commandos have more health than I initially intended. It is what it is. So just scrap what I said. It, does, it didn't even matter. Because with 2,000 health, they wouldn't be making it this far anyway. I would have had to rebalance it anyway. So, yeah. All right. Delta Squad is getting some more fire out with their newbies on the battlefield. Still not as much as I'd like to be seeing them doing, but... It is what it is. Pretty much same with the Bad Batch over here. They're even taking on a few more droids than Delta Squad, which is good to see. But yeah, overall, Gregor is still taking the brunt of the fire right now. Let's go ahead and bump it up into normal speed here. It's just a firing wall of droids over there, and the clones just getting clobbered by fire. But at least the grenade warfare isn't happening as much against the clone troopers this time. That is extraordinarily helpful to them, because last time, these droids just ran right up to them started grenading all over the place and the commandos could not resist that it was just absolute pandemonium all right why don't we go ahead and time lapse this defense since we basically saw it last time around and hopefully the clone commandos can defeat this wall of droids here it's going to be slow progress and we will check in okay so that was only about a minute time lapse and actually the droids have retreated back into the walls here. So that's kind of crazy. The, basically, the AI will retreat back if they feel like they're losing. And they still outnumber the clones with their free roamers by like hundreds. Just their free roamers, not even defenders. But they still felt that threatened by like 30 clone commandos. They felt that threatened that they retreated back, which is crazy. So yeah, droids take immense losses here. Uh, they've retreated back into the walls here a good bit, and the clone commandos are going to come through. Uh, they're grenading some of the already dead droids. Why don't we go ahead and fast motion here as the clone commandos come on up here. And eventually, yeah, here we go. We're going to get some more fire going here as they come up the stairs. And there we go. All right. Bad Batch kicking it off. Finally, they're getting a little bit more aggressive on the battlefield. Poor Gregor has had to deal with all of the pain today but no they're getting in there which is good let's actually check it out this guy's got 91 kills with the grenade launcher fixer has 10 this guy's got two boss has seven scorch has two come on scorch gregor has 13 which is pretty good this guy's got two this guy's got six this guy's got none cringe this guy's got one cringe this guy's got none cringe uh wrecker's got 14 this guy's got 12 this guy's got zero this guy's got one all right we've got uh crosshair up here with three Tech is down, but he also has three currently. And there's Hunter with zero right now. So actually, it's just very few clone commandos. I think mostly Gregor's men uh, who right now are carrying. And everyone else just has like single digit kills. I think all of Gregor's men are the ones with double digit kills. And then that big boy with the grenade launcher getting 100 kills. But it's funny because another grenade launcher clone has zero kills. So <laughs> kind of a big difference right there. Uh, Delta... Er, Bad Batch going absolutely ham in here. Hunter with six kills. Tech still with three. Crosshair still with three. So they're not going ham, but they are entering into the war zone here pretty wholeheartedly and getting spammed with fire as a result. We do have a couple droid defenses over this way. Uh, this one's not firing yet, but can it? Yeah, it can fire. It's just not. This one is firing back here. So uh, those defending uh, turrets should be able to do pretty decent there was this one here but obviously it got blown up by a grenade you can see all the pot marks from the grenades blowing up and the rest of the clone commandos really not coming in to assist the bad batch currently uh who definitely are struggling they're not really getting any kills except for hunter tech and crosshair over here just keep getting grenaded 
and shot to high heck, uh, which is really not helpful for getting kills. <laughs> so they're having a very hard time over here. Hey man, at least Hunter is spraying some DC-15 fire and Hunter dies! We have the first death of the clone commandos and it's Hunter this time around and he was the last death last time, which is funny. Tech goes down again, he's still alive though. Crosshair, okay, getting involved a little bit but getting beaten back by fire. Alright, let's fast forward again. We need the rest of the clone commandos to move together as a unit. Clone commandos strong together! Not as strong alone. Okay, Crosshair's going ham. He's starting to get kills with his blaster, and he dies right there. Tech jumps up, and he dies right there. Bad Batch only has Wrecker left, and I don't even know where he's at. Oh, he's over this way. Some more grenades from the clones back this way. Kills a few more droids, but these guys need to... Okay, now they're... Oh, now they choose to come together as a unit? All together, all at once? And they let the rest of the Bad Batch units die? And they could have just done this the whole time? What are they thinking? This is not good, guys. This is, like, you kidding me? R2 had to witness those men die? Only for you to show up 10 seconds later with 10 troopers all at once and grenade launchers? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, that's tragic. Oh! Who was that? Where did he even go? Oh, it's Wrecker. Wrecker is following suit with the rest of the, the Bad Batch here. He is still alive, though. Oh, he's almost dead. He's got 30 kills. Wrecker actually kind of went ham. If he stands up, I think he dies. Uh, oh, yeah, he did die right there. He did get 30 kills, though. The Bad Batch is completely dead now. Republic studs would be... If he's watching, man... I feel for you. I, th I think the Bad Batch is his favorite clone group, I want to say. I, I don't know if that's true, but uh, I know he really likes the Bad Batch a lot. He loves the TV show. I really like the TV show. Haven't finished it yet. Um, I got to resub to Disney Plus to do that. Um, but uh, I do like the Bad Batch a lot. But uh, they are dead. <laughs> they, they did really horribly here, which is funny because I feel like... Them and Delta Squad canonically should be doing the best. We're going into one of the side rooms for the droids here. Pretty tough room for the clones to clear out, but they're moving in as a unit instead of trickling in, which is going to be very helpful. They are taking a lot of hits right here. A lot of hits. Sev is out there moving and grooving, or at least trying to. He's got the sniper attachment out, which is good to see. Beautiful. Again, each clone trooper commando has four different weapons. Grenade launcher, DC-17, DC-17 M sniper attachment, and of course their pistol. Although I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty much they pick one and then they use it during almost the entirety of the battle is how I I think the AI works. But I don't know. Those grenade launchers, man, really, really brutal. That allowed them to clear that room very easily. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, holy cow. <laughs> They're just nuking the rooms now. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they angry. They're upset, bro. All right, do we have any other dead clone commandos? Uh, oh, yeah, someone died here. Just a standard clone commando died there. Where are the other ones? Oh, they're moving down mid while those guys move to the right. Uh, Fixer's got 13 kills. Scorch has 11. Boss has 9. This guy's got 17. This guy's got 1. This guy's got 9. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. All right, still crazy action happening over this way. Sev's got 36 now. Gregor's got 21. They're moving in on these droids pretty wholeheartedly. Lord Gonk! Protect him. Protect him. Okay, this library archive room, uh, whatever it is, is going down pretty easy. The funny thing is, like, one lone droid in regular Star Wars Galaxy at War mod can be absolutely devastating to an army. But... We literally need to have a full lineup of droids for them to manage to do anything when it comes to fighting this many clone commandos. I mean, look at this. These two just systematically destroy this room. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be really bad. Well played there, commandos. They tag team that really nicely. This room here cleared out. There's a couple droids over this way, though. This room here cleared out. All right. All right. The Yoda room. The Yoda room is starting to get involved a little bit. They do have two of these, uh, these bad Larrys, these beam turrets that could get some kills. They're working on it. We've got more free roamers in here. Okay, good. Seems like all the free roamers went to the right instead of to the left. 
They're coming out to play a little bit, shooting up Scorch pretty good, point blank in him. Uh, and he is still standing, still getting kills. How many kills does he have? 26. He's at about like a quarter of his health though, so he could go down fairly soon here. Any other clone commandos go down? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, Fixer went down. Fixer is dead. Rip. Rip to Fixer. Oh my goodness. Poor Yoda. I, honestly, he's probably just entertained by this. Knowing Yoda. Oh, there's a side room in here. Oh, I didn't know you could go through that side room. That's actually really bad for the uh, droids. That's super bad for the droids. Oh, is that clone dead? Yeah, that clone commando died. Rip. Rip. These droids somehow managing to do this thing. There's still more droids over here that the clones have to go through as well. Um, and still some more free roamers over that way too. Oh, there goes a beam turret right there. That thing is gone. Oh my god, it's the rocket launcher clones. They are brutal, or grenade launcher rather. They're trying to push through here. Uh, see, once they have to reload, it's Jover for the droids. Yep, there you go. Yoda, oh no, 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 there's one more droid. He's got a grenade. He eats it. Could kill someone, potentially. Oh my god, did that, that actually killed Gregor. That was all it took was one more grenade. Holy cow. All right, but they've saved Yoda. Now they need to move on to this, which is the remainder of the droid defenses in here. They, you know, they got to secure the building. Oh, it looks like another two clones. Oh, three clones died in here. Boss, Scorch, and a standard clone dead in this room. Absolutely crazy. So clone troopers continue to die as they push forward here. This is where it gets a little bit confusing perspective-wise because there's so many rooms. The clones really do move pretty fast, so uh, it's hard to get the angles that we want to see. Uh, this is this is crazy fast pace. Let me know in the comment section, guys. If you're watching at this point in the video, first of all, thank you for watching for this long. But second of all, you guys gotta let me know. Do you like these kinds of crazy battles? Because I could easily do this with Torrent Company. I could do this with Domino Squad. I could do it with just all Clone Trooper Commanders. Like, let me know if this is an enjoyable style of battle for you guys, and I would absolutely do more for you. Because uh, this is, I mean, it's pretty entertaining for me. It's not... In my five years of doing Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy of War Mod videos, maybe longer. Oh, another clone commando goes down right there. I've never had battles like this, where it's super fast paced, action packed the entire time, not laggy, because there's not that many troopers on the battlefield. It's just, you know, one massive army versus a small army. When you have two massive armies, it gets laggy. Um, so this is like a very unique battle style that I've never really gotten to experience in the Galaxy at War Mod. This is cool. I'm really enjoying this and I hope you guys are too. So let me know in the comments if you are. You can absolutely do some more. Clone Commandos are still fairly stacked. They've got two guys just messing around over here. Oh wait. I thought Sev died. Sev is still alive, so is this guy. Let's send them. I think they're stuck, so we'll send them to Yoda's room and they can move in from there. Um, that's absolutely insane. <laughs> Wait, this guy's got four gold chevron. He has 134 kills. That's insane. This guy's got 16. This guy's got seven. This guy's got 12. Oh my god, they all look the same. This guy's got seven. That might be the same guy. This guy's got 16. This guy's got nine. This guy's got 35. This guy's got 18. A lot of kills for a lot of these fellas. Oh! Grenades getting launched from both sides, freaking everywhere. Droids in the gym over here. Droids in the gym. Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. I think it is the end days for the battle droid army here. Not a ton of them remain. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much going down. Oh, we got some stuck in the walls over here. We can send them in. Go. You're not escaping this pain. Everyone needs to get involved. There's a few somewhere else. Where are they? Uh, I don't know. There's like one or two somewhere else stuck. Wow. Well, let's fast motion uh, the rest of this here. The last of the droids going out. I think the clone commandos have this. If they didn't, that would be so sad. Wait, we still got some more droids here. Don't go anywhere, clone commandos. Come back. Come on, come back. Just spam fire until they come. There we go. Here they come. Oh, absolutely annihilated. So, Clone Commandos lose the first battle pretty badly, although they got a lot of kills. But in the second battle, they manage a W. 
Yellow are dead clone commandos, red are dead droids, there are droids dead everywhere. Quite a number of commandos did end up dying during this battle, but obviously not nearly as many as the droids. Thousand dead droids, and maybe like 10 dead commandos. Crazy stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.